Hey guys, it's Doc. Guess what we're doing today? We're putting out pre-emergent. Fall pre-emergent treatment. And I'm actually putting out some humic DG today as well too. But I really want to talk about pre-emergent on this video. So hold on. And cut in. Hey guys, I'm cutting into this video real quick because I got a quick note about inventory levels. Uh, I did send an email and warn the manufacturer that I'm getting ready to post this video because last time I did this, their uh, organic fertilizer sold out in 48 hours. He sent me an email back and said, hey, we don't have much inventory at Amazon right now, but we're sending out, <laughs> but we're sending out several hundred more bags of this um, pre-emergent later this week. So I'm going to warn you. If you're watching this video, it's going to sell out probably in 24 hours, but come back in a few days and I'll keep the product link activated. You may click on it, it says currently available, but I just want to let you know that it is being restocked. So I want to make sure that's clear because last time everyone said, hey, it shows unavailable, it shows unavailable. So I want to make sure you understand. When this video hits, it's probably going to sell out and then about four or five days from now, we'll be back in stock. So come back and check on this. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, so what we're doing today is we're putting out pre-emergent and I'm also putting out Humic DG and I'm gonna explain what I'm putting out and why you should put it out and when to put it out and how to put it out. A pre-emergent basically stops new seeds from sprouting. So if you have weed seeds in your lawn or they get carried into your lawn, this goes on top of it. This is within the top layer of your soil and thatch and it kills off or prevents seeds from germinating that are seeds. It does not necessarily hurt any kind of established But rat. here's what I want you to understand about pre-emergent. Pre-emergent doesn't kill anything, so it doesn't kill weeds, it just prevents them. So you need to think about what do I want to prevent for the next three or four months? Because that's really the lifespan of most pre-emergents is about three or four months. So this is fall. We don't really have to worry about crabgrass so much, even though it will stop crabgrass. We're really looking at those fall, early winter weeds, especially stuff like poana and cold weather weeds. My yard was infested with poana when we bought this house. Matter of fact, in the winter time, the whole backyard was green. Real pretty, right? Well, it was all poana. And some people say, oh, don't worry, it dies off. No, dude, kill your poana, stop your poana, because it competes with that early spring sprout of Bermuda grass. That's why I do not overseed. I do not overseed in the winter because I don't want that competition for the Bermuda grass. Um, I just have a nice fuzzy brown lawn. Uh, the one thing I will point out is if you have if you have new sod, you probably don't want to put down pre-emergent right now because pre-emergent sometimes will contract or stop root growth on new sod. So I would wait until your grass goes till you get really cold and then your Bermuda is going to shut down anyway. So it really doesn't matter. It's not growing. So what I do now is in the fall, sort of in that October month, even right around October, which we're in now is I'm going to put out a light coat of granular. And let me tell you why I put the granular first. I don't like to spray. If my lawn is healthy, I don't have a single weed in it. My lawn is healthy. I don't want to spray anything on the foliage of the grass. Does that make sense? So I don't want to coat the foliage of my grass. I want a product that's going to go right through the pretty green grass and go down to the soil and be inside the soil, which is where pre-emergent needs to be. It needs to be basically in that first three quarters or one inch of the soil to work. But I am going to put out the granular now. And then once the frost starts to hit, once the grass is saying, hey, I'm not going to grow anymore, that's when I come back with my liquid pre-emergent. And I put my liquid pre-emergent out super, super heavy. I look at the first thing I do is I read, what's the maximum application? Always follow and read your labels. So I'm going to show you the products I'm going to put down. I am putting down, uh, I'm also going to put down the humic today. Why am, why am I putting down the humic? Because it really is my last chance to put down humic acid. I still have uh, lots of, I have probably two months of good microbial action in the lawn. I can actually improve, but this is your last chance to put down your humic. So if you have not put down humic acid, which does not feed, it does do anything. You put it down anytime you want, put it down with anytime you want. That question comes up all the time. I just put down fertilizer. Can I put out my humic acid? Yes. You can put your humic acid out anytime. It doesn't matter. Put it out, dump it, dump it, dump it. Humic acid is just a wonderful, basically it's carbon and folic acid. It helps make, turn that soil into that dark, rich garden soil. That's the way to think about it. That's all it does. It makes your soil better. So put down humic anytime you want and put down any amount you want. As much as you can afford, put it down. If you can put half an inch on your lawn, put down half an inch. It does not matter. 
cannot hurt your lawn. But this is my last chance. I have a couple of extra bags. So I'm gonna put down some humic today and I'm gonna put down the granular pre-emergent. Now, the one, the reason why I'm recommending this pre-emergent, this type is, uh, it is a barricade, it is a barricade product, but it's made inside the same granular structure that the humic is made. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second, how once these granules get wet within like two minutes, they actually start to break down and they just disperse into each tiny little granule disperses into thousands of microgranules. It's a, it's a, it truly is, it's a patented process by this company and it truly is amazing. So it, you get a really good disbursement. Even though it's a granular, you get a really good disbursement throughout the soil. So that's the important thing. Now, uh, this product, the uh, maximum application per year, and that's how pre-emergents are really done, the maximum application per year is seven pounds per thousand square feet. So if I want to put this down twice, I divide that in half. So a three point, so roughly three pounds per thousand square feet. I got a 50 pound bag sitting here, so I'm going to put out my 50 pound bag um, on. I've got about 20,000 square feet, so that's about right. Today I'm also going to be using the Scotts Elite spreader, which for the money is a decent spreader. I've got a $500 professional spreader out out in the garage, um, but I'm not going to use that today. But I'm going to show you. I think what I don't think the average homeowner is going to spend $500 on a spreader. I love that spreader. <laughs> uh, but I think I'll use the Scott's Elite because I think more people are apt to buy that one. Good quality. It's got a decent warranty if something goes wrong with it. It is a molded product, a molded plastic product. But for the average homeowner, it is a dual spreader. So let me show you the products. All right, so this is what we're doing today. And uh, I've got the Barricade DG, bag of that. I've got a couple bags of the Humic DG. And then I've got the Scotts Elite spreader here. And of course, this is a dual, this is a dual spreader here. It has dual rotaries on it. It has a lot of multiple ports in here for it. It also has um, the edge guard. So when I pull this handle, the edge guard actually comes up, which is kind of nice. So it has the automatic edge guard, has a decent spreader setting. Again, these ports open up. All four of those ports open up. It has a little handy dandy phone uh, phone holder so you can update your Instagram while you're out here doing this stuff, I guess. You know, your sexy Instagram pictures while you're doing your yard. That's work. what I'm putting out today. Putting this stuff out. Now, pre-emergent, I've said it before, pre-emergent, I believe is the most important part of, of my lawn program. Um, I couldn't live without my pre-emergent. If you said there's one thing you can't take away from your lawn care program, what is it, Doc? I would say my pre-emergent. You could take away everything else, but the most important thing for me is my pre-emergent. The reason being is, is it stops me from putting, it, it prevents me from having to put negative stuff on my lawn. So I don't have to put negative on my lawn if I have the pre-emergent. Does that make sense? So let me show you how these granules work. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about this product um, has kind of a yellowish color to it and the granules are very, very fine very fun but this is what I'm talking about super fine granules very very fine and now I want to show you what happens to these granules when you put them into water I've got my little tub of water here and watch what happens watch what happens when you put these in so I'm letting them you can you almost start to see a little haze develop around them um, and they're like uh, kind of a, sometimes you get a little bit of bubbling action going on All right, so that's about one minute And watch what happens after one minute See what happens But if these things are so small, I'm gonna go down to the very very smallest um, Opening and I'm gonna put it out if I need to go back and then double it, zigzag the other way and put out more because I didn't put out enough, then I'll put out more. But always start light. Hey, it's good exercise, you know. Even if you got to go across your lawn twice, it's a good pattern. I always like to keep my spreader settings light. Now on the Humic DG, I don't care. I'm going to put it out as heavy as I can. So, but anyways, let's put out some stuff.
you don't know how much grass you have till you have to walk it and walk it and walk it. Anyways, let me show you a couple tricks to putting this stuff out that I've learned. Majority of the time what you'll do is you'll put it out when the grass is dry and then you'll water it in, run your sprinkler system, water it in or put out a lawn, whatever, or put it out the day before a moderate rain. I'm going to show you some lines on the grass. Now these are dew lines, but I'm out here early with there's dew on the grass. And what this does is this really lets me get exact to understand where I've been and where I haven't been. As an example, I hit here. I just came back and I hit here, but guess what? There's no dew lines here. So I know for a fact that I need to come back and do another pass here. Now, I missed this because I'm shooting video. <laughs> See it up here? So I got a line here, line here, line here, line here, line here. All right, so next I'm gonna be putting out my humic and I'm not gonna bore you with a whole bunch of humic footage, me putting humic, humic out. But I did wanna show you real quick a, a trick that I've learned with almost all fertilizers. So let me show you this trick I've learned with spreaders. So you have a spreader and it's not listed on here what it is. So here's my trick. Look at your doors and figure out the granules, granule size of the product. So like on a humic, there's multiple granule sizes. So you want to figure out the largest granule size. So let me open this bag up real quick. So there are my, there's my granule size right there. So what I want to do is I basically want to put it in here and I want to sort of see, well, what's the largest granule size? Can it fit through? Can the largest granule fit through that opening? And so you might have a couple pieces that are like larger than this. So I want to make sure that they don't plug up these openings. So right now I've got it set on about four. And that looks like about right. And what that'll do is that'll give you your sort of lowest setting. So I want to put this out fairly light because this is my second, this is my second humic treatment. I did the humic treatment, what, about eight weeks ago, and I'm doing one now for the fall. So I want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that it's out pretty light. One small 11 pound bag at light will do 11,000 square feet. And I like to do it two or three times a year. You only have to do it once, but I like to do it two or three times a year. Uh, that's about it, so I'm going to dump this crap in and do it. There it is. And someone did bring up a point. They say, hey doc, why do you use the granular versus a liquid humic? I use it because it stores forever. This stuff basically will has a shelf life of 100 years. <laughs> I don't know if there is, even if it's a shelf life. The liquids can go bad. There is a, there is an expiration date, and I've had liquids go bad. I've had the canisters blow up on me uh, because of bacteria and other stuff in it. So that's why I stick with my granular. Um, I order the 11 pound bags because I can. I'll order maybe one. I like the 11 pound bags because they store easy. Because we use this for our super juice. I just want to make sure you understand that. This is what we put in our super juice. So we actually take about. Uh, we take about a cup or two of this and mix it into our super juice when we spray our liquid fertilizer on. Hey, and so uh, one of the little trick that I do is um, as I'm going by plants and flowers, I grab a handful of this stuff and I actually throw it at the base of each of my shrubs, flowers, or whatever. Again, you can't hurt anything with this stuff. This is just basically carbon, if you think of it that way. It's just a soil enricher. You can't burn anything, it won't hurt anything. So just grab a big handful, throw it like on your rose bushes and your garden, flower garden, flowers, everything. Plus, if you have a weak spot, let me show you this spot over this here. This weak spot over here is full of cables and construction debris. And so I just grab handfuls of this stuff and I just toss it over there and I'll just coat this area real heavy. So I get a ton of that humic and carbon into that area over there. The butterflies like it. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do for you guys too is uh, I had I had some left in here and I put it on the highest setting. And what I did, remember this cypress tree that I did the organic test strip on that's really, really thick and green? Well, look at this. See all that? That's all humic there. I just went back and forth and back and forth on the highest setting, just loaded this with humic acid. Let's see what happens there. 
what the heck. Now I will tell you the one, the next step you want to do is get your blower, blow this stuff, blow all this stuff off your sidewalks and blow it back into the grass, blow it off your driveway, blow it into the grass. Then go ahead and run your irrigation system. It doesn't really stain your driveway, but it just leaves these black spots all over. Last tip, set your uh, spreader somewhere over here and get a hose and it's going to be pretty nasty. You're going to notice that it gets pretty nasty. Um, I've got, you can see the black carbon in here. And then under here you can see, you can see all the yellow from the pre-emergent, right? Right? So we need to get a hose and rinse this all off. But you can see it just gets kind of nasty in there. So anyways, guys, it's the end of the day. It's sunset. I'm supposed to have some rain move in. Hallelujah. I got like 60% chance of showers four or five days this week finally. Man, this is just, this drought has been living hell on my yard out here in the whole neighborhood. It's been just miserable. I've been so tired of it. Some cooler weather's moving in. Um, don't forget, go to the website. Make sure you just click subscribe button, but go to the website. All the product links are up there. Um, we got a bunch more videos coming out. I just put up a bunch of videos, so make sure you check out those too. I'm losing my voice. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Talk to you later. Doc.